Hey guys, welcome back to Kumasawa Reviews. What we're taking a look at is the Bandai Soul of Chikoken Goldimar. You see there, Soul of Chikoken, Gaugagar in the background. What you've got here is Goldimar itself. Some additional hands. A big, more anime super hand. As well as a stand. An add-on part for the stand. This we'll go over that when we transform it and so this is the energy nail that he used to pull the cores out of fallen en enemies during the show and it's one million and one recycled animations but anyways we'll go ahead and get into this figure i'm gonna say off the bat i'm not a fan of this one i don't think they did a good job but hopefully it doesn't bleed over too much into the review and i can be objective let's go looking at the alt mode here plastic treads all wheels roll I mean, it's, it's a nice representation of the Goldie Mark. I don't know what to call it. A tank, a cruiser, I don't know. This little piece right here fell off that, I don't know if you want to call it like a rim or a hubcap or what. Those are actually meant to come off. We'll go over that during the arm mode process. Get it pegged in back again now. That was random. I barely touched it. Must not have had it in type, but they stay in good for the most part, but it's not bad. This orange piece that you see here, that's a screw hole cover. I'm not going to knock that. That kind of stuff happens all the time. Dab a glue and it'll go back on just fine. There it is. Not too crazy much to it. I mean, what you going to do? The cannon does go up and down. And it's a, you know, for not being the biggest piece in the world, it's a nice, solid, hefty piece. I mean, it feels good. It feels like a show, soul of Chikokin toy. Alright, let's go ahead and get this transformed, actually, into the robot mode. You saw we separated the hammer right there. Now what we're going to do is take these feet, rotate them up. That piece just keeps wanting to come off, so we're going to leave it out for right now. The legs. See how we just separated them right here? I think we can rub some more. And now we'll go ahead and finish transforming the legs. Alright. So that's pretty much half the transformation right there. From there, you can separate the legs. It's all kind of a game of fit. He's got multiple hinges here. And you can tell by what looks right how to go about doing this. You know, he doesn't look right with his legs splayed all the way out like that. You kind of know. It's intuitive. That's a good word for it. Just to take it in there. So, there's that. Now, with the feet, you flip these panels down. There's another panel inside. That flips over. Maybe you got the feet covered. Flip. Flip over. Arm. So not too hard. The arms, the shoulders have double hinges here. So we just take that, flip around and up. Camera angle up some more. When you rotate the arm down, you'll see. Just take it. Go around and up. And there we go. Alright. The arms come down. Now the hands. There's a flap on the inside here. Once you pull that out, you're able to rotate the arms out. If you don't flip that flap out, it's what locks the hands in place. So you're not going to be able to do it. So that part's designed very well. Alright. There's that. We can actually spread the legs here. Now with the hammer. Got that here. We'll take the hammer up some. Got the hammer here. Bring the head out. And this part. You 
you just bring that up so you see the eyes and you reconnect them they, it just clips in there we go there's Goldie Mark here goes the robot mode about eight inches compared to the ten or so you guys can see better than me on Gal Gagar up to it's about another inch at the top of the hammer so that knocks out the size comparison there and you have a clear shot of him next to Gal Gagar I'm gonna remove this guy from the equation for a moment and take a look at him himself what I did I already changed out the default fist with the larger ones included the more anime accurate hands now he does not stand he's way too bag heavy without putting this handle on the ground here that's just what it is this is an unfortunate part to the toy um, you know now his head as you guys saw is attached to the back of the hammer which is also kind of unfortunate Ugh. I hate that that doesn't like his visor the top of his head does not lock up so when you're trying to move it it'll occasionally go back down and stuff he does have side to side a little bit of upwards and downwards looking um, I would say it's decent for the most part he doesn't seem too hindered I mean look at that looks plenty downwards um, he doesn't look super up but he can at least tilt his head side to side so for how it's engineered I think it does really well you know I do like the bot mode quite a bit and that's what I was talking about right there the head not locking into place it just gets annoying really quick alright now the shoulders really nice ratchets there and it does have some outward swing. Now, make sure that you've extended the biceps all the way. It's not just the arms, it's the biceps too that go out because that allows for the bicep swivel. Elbow bend, let's say about 45 degrees. Full wrist rotation there. Get a little bit of inward bend. Now, the legs hindered, um, the waist, no waist articulation at all. The legs, it does have swivel here. They have no real outward movement. Some swing, but not really. The knees, actually, technically double jointed, but it's separate, so you're just supposed to use that one. But decent bend at the knee, I mean. And with the handle down there, I mean, some good, good balance for what it's worth. No ankle tilt unfortunately so when you've got his feet planted if they're not just straight down on the ground you know any kind of a stance you're gonna see that space in there but it's it's alright it's an okay robot mode. Now let's go ahead we'll actually get this transformed into his hammer mode. That's what most people are buying it for right? Getting this guy transformed, the first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and separate the hammer. Okay. The head. A little bit too easy to put that guy back in. And then push that like so. Alright. Now this button right here. Press it. And extend it. It's supposed to extend both at the same time, but whatever. Alright. Now... That expands. This swings down. Now this. Use that same piece right there to lock that into place. You see how that connector goes in and out. Gap right there. There you go. Alright, and you can see this hammer is freaking huge. I think that's literally bigger than most of the legitimate hammers I have around the house. That's it's pretty honking. So, yeah. Anyway, let's move on to 
Mr. Marg himself. Now this here from the back, let's go ahead, swing it up. That's it. Okay. From there, those hands, you're going to flip them back in. So you start by reversing them. They can face the opposite direction. Flip out those little lids and then try to push them back in. The lid. That part's easier to do than it looks, but reaching around the camera, yada yada yada. Alright, the arms, just put them back. Now it's almost like we're transforming it back into its alt mode. The shoulders, hinge them down, bring it around. And there's actually a part here that pegs in, so hinge it around, peg it into place. Alright, so you can see what you got there. Now there's a little glass piece for clear plastic that comes with this guy. It's one of the random things I showed you. We're going to go ahead and turn this guy around. And from there, pegs in place. It's shaped so there's only one way it can go in. And you see two tabs there. It just helps it tab together in its um, robot mode there. Alright, so on the inside, one of them's already out, but there are two tabs here. If I can remember which way they go. Right there. From there, you kind of do it however you want. But snap the two legs together. Jeez. It's kind of weird that I hear a snapping sound and nothing's going into place. Let's try that again. One, two. Well, okay. That randomly worked. Now the legs, just gonna get them all extended. From there, it's a pretty easy. Let's take them. Put some back. These legs became unhinged again. But the nice part is that this actually clips them into place. So by the time you get it around, you're fine. Okay. So. This is where. Gagar comes into play. I already went ahead. If you watched the Gal Gagar review, you know how to transform this guy. I flipped the holster out for his arm here. I don't exactly remember how to do this, but there's that. And then from there, I believe, yep, just separates. Okay? That can just stay there the whole time. You can put it away. Just whatever works for you aesthetically. I've already got the stand here, and unfortunately, this guy doesn't really work without the stand, so you gotta use that right away. Get that additional orange piece that we talked about here. Now, I just gotta remember which way to clip it in. I believe it's this way. This is the inside. There we go. Make sure it locks into place. And there you have it. It snaps in like normal. Now the stand, we're going to go ahead and utilize this guy already. Because it, unfortunately it's just too heavy. It's what it is. There you go. Alright, we're actually going to have to move the camera back. We've got Goldie Marg as the arm. The hammer here, 
and he it's gonna flop down if I take it off of the stand so that kind of just is what it is extend that out I actually like the way it looks better without the wrist out but you can see a clip inside of the hand here it goes in with a sword and this actually has the clip placement on both sides it's surprisingly particular And now you'll see where my gripes with the figure come in. All right, so we'll do it off camera. We'll just take it. Clip it into place, like so. And it's nice. They made it a really specifically sized clip, too. So... There you go. This thing is huge. Get my ruler here. My problem, yeah, it is 15 inches tall. So, definitely a big old hammer. You know? And you could, of course, flip it to the other side if you don't want Goldie Marks face showing, but for the purpose of this review, it's not really that huge of a deal. I mean, that pretty much is what it is. That's about all you can literally do with it. It has a bigger, more anime accurate hand. And this has like separate articulation for each of the fingers, but they don't have separate articulation points, or do they? Okay, they don't. Alright, I just got some mail actually, so that was pretty cool. But like I was saying, different articulation and the fingers here, they all just snap into place. It does not hold it anywhere near as well as that hand with the clip. So, as much as this one may look nicer, we're not going to use it for the sake of this review. Oops. I'm knocking into everything. Now one thing that I haven't even done yet is play around with the energy nails and stuff like that. So we're going to see if we can unclip this without... Nope. Let's take the whole hand off. So remove the hammer. Alright. Hopefully you guys have seen a good enough share of the hammer because we're not going to do that anymore. We're actually going to partially untransform it to get everything back into place. Alright, so what an experience we're all going to learn together. This piece here. It's supposed to unclip go back on and apparently it's supposed to just balance all right it actually does a good job surprisingly so and I really have no reason to be surprised but it's nice when things work out on the first try in terms of that door right there with that I wish that these snapped into place but then again for the most part, you put it in a place and you're not fiddling with it, so. Maybe engineering that's not needed for most people. But okay, that's how you would put them in a punch and pose. Those are the two things that you can do with this attach. Now, those pieces that we were talking about coming off, the hubcaps. Alright, so they pop off, and then from there, the front pieces of those pop off. And the nail, if you guys didn't notice, it came with two different sizes for it. We've got the short version of the nail there. If you want to go ahead and have him like he's pulling it out, because that's how 
starts in the anime. And I had to do it off camera. It literally just took me 20 minutes to get him into this position, pulling out the nail and stuff like that. Things kept, kept falling out. These panels kept um, pushing themselves in. Engineering-wise, this thing is a freaking mess compared to every other soul of Chigokan toy I've ever owned. And it's mind-boggling because it's the newest soul of Chikokan toy that I've owned. This is fucking ridiculous. Like, I really despise this piece and will be selling it as soon as possible. But anyway, there he is in the pulling the nail out position. Let's get that back. Zoom out so you guys can see. Alright. I really can't believe just how poorly done this is. And how many pieces you have to clip on to even transform it. It's just. Yeah. yeah. 200 bucks, too. But, anyways, this is the nail here, the full one. Go ahead and get the nail out here. Even dump stuff like that, it's like... That's aggravating. Alright, so the nail here. You have the fully extended one. And he holds it alright. Grips it just fine. Okay. And these do extend. In the cartoon, what he would do is put a nail in the enemy. Well, I knock it out. That was my fault. Put a nail in the enemy, take out their core, and use these to pry it out, like the opposite end of a hammer. It's pretty cool. But again, Make them hold the nail there. Now, when they pulled out the energy core, what would happen is it would be stuck to the nail. You could also emulate that. The cores pretty much all looked exactly the same. So he comes with generic core. And there's that. I'm sorry for being so negative during this review, but this is a real disappointment. Um, it's fine in alt mode. It is what it is. The robot mode is okay. You know, I didn't expect too much from it, especially with the engineer that had to go into it between the three modes. Like Stuff like some ankle tilt would have been nice, but it wasn't really my biggest concern. I bought it for, for the arm mode, and the arm mode is probably the biggest disappointment I've had with the entire Soul of Chigokin line. This is like 5 out of 10. They should have waited until next year if it took that to release this thing right. Because this is not. It's, it's crap. And the fact that, you know, even outside of how it's designed as an arm, the fact that it's so heavy and not made around Gal, Gal Gagar, which it goes with, you know, you can't do anything besides holding on a stand either this way or rotate it the other way, holding the hammer. The hammer's too heavy to do anything but be put into these right here and go straight up if you try to tilt it or anything like that. Like, yeah, you can get some lucky balance and stuff like that, but for the most part, it's just going to go to one way or the other way, that kind of thing. So, I would not recommend this toy at all. Thank you for watching this Kuma Style review. Check out the pictorial on KumaStyle.com. I'm just glad to have gotten this done. It'll go on a shelf until it gets sold.